Hey, Lon Harris here at Bergamot Station in Santa Monica for L.A. Siggraph's Maker Night. Sort of a science fair for adults, I guess. People graph and make things if the name is to be trusted. So uh, we're going to go in, check out some of the projects people are working on. Let's check it out. I'm here with Univac. So what, what? it looks like baby's first pinhead. That's what we've got here. Yeah, this is Helsinki. Um, Hel Helsinki is a circuit bent uh, Teletubby. And it's a tele series of Teletubbies made by Microsoft and Actimates. And they, uh, they interact with the television via RF signal, but I took it and circuit bent it. So this is using my own human contact, my capacitance and resistance to change the graphics on screen to do some pretty crazy things. What circuit bending is, is it's basically taking existing technology and um, trying to coax sounds out of it that have never been heard by the human, uh, human ear before, and sounds that the engineers who designed the thing would be totally shuddering in horror okay. if they had heard it, because they would have taken that and thrown it away, because that would be broken. So basically with circuit bending, you just sort of just open something up and put your fingers all over it and see where the cool parts are, and start adding wires and pots and optical resistors and whatnot, and see what comes out of it. <laughs> All right, we're here with uh, Brett Dorr, who's designed this table. This doesn't look so impressive to me. Well, this is, this is called the uh, Bronco table, um, and it's a, it's a feral, it's a piece of feral furniture, and it, uh, it can sense when you put something on it, and then it kind of resists the, uh, it resists having something put on it. First of all, where do you get an idea to even design something like this? And is it is the point like the challenge? Like, can I can I make this work? Uh, no, it, I, it's mainly. I guess my my approach is, I, you know, there are enough people making technology that makes life easier for people, and I kind of want to go the other direction. So technology to make our lives more difficult. Have you considered working for Comcast? I think they could really use some thinkers like you. So I'm here with Mark Fraunfelder. He's the founder of Make Magazine and one of the Boing Boing bloggers. So uh, how long have you been into this sort of maker project kind of community? Uh, well, especially since I started editing Make Magazine back in 2000, early 2004, I've, I've really got into it a lot more. But ever since then, I was always interested in electronics, uh, chemistry and things like that. My dad was an electrical engineer and we would work on projects together, you know, like setting a little electric eye in the door so that it would uh, be an alarm, you know, when people would walk walk through my door. Can you tell us a little more about these sort of DIY community? I know it's a big big movement online. Our viewers might not know exactly what you mean by that. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, do-it-yourself communities, special interest communities, people who are into doing something uh, you know, like there are people who restore cars, and uh, especially the really old ones, you can't get parts anymore for them, the small parts that break off. So they've learned how to cast uh, the parts with, the, you know, they, they melt down aluminum pop and beer cans and have backyard foundries, and they cast the parts, and then they trade the parts with each other. You know, they need a hood ornament from some old Bentley or something. Oh, I got one of those, I'll cast it for you. These communities of interest really propel each other, and they evolve the the art and craft of making things so much faster than they, it was before the internet. You know, before it was just like zines and mail and uh, annual conventions. Things move very slowly. Now it's like moving super fast and people are having a great time. So if I wanted to just sort of get started, I have an idea for a table that's going to attack people if you move stuff around on it. What would you suggest, what would be my first step to, to, to sort of get into this world and try to start building my first project? I think uh, the first thing I would do is, uh, is Google as close as what you're doing uh, in Google and see if you can find other people who are doing the same thing and hook up with them, tell them what you're doing, and then start a blog and make that blog your, your place where you keep your build notes, your journal of what you do, your problems, take tons of pictures, video if you can, and then start sharing that with other people who are related to what you're doing. Post it on instructables.com, which is a website that lists people put their projects. And there's tons of people who are just interested in making things, anything. They're just general interest. And they'll give you feedback. Hey, you know, I know somebody who made something like that. You should check this website out. Or go to Make Magazine, post your ideas there, and, and ask a question in the community of makers. And Make will help you out, too. So that's it from LA Maker Night. You know, hopefully we've inspired you to start some of your own creepy, possibly satanic projects at home. If you liked what you saw, be sure to rate and subscribe to our YouTube videos. I'm Lon Harris. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily.
Boy, global warming has really ravaged Santa's workshop.